Hi guys. Welcome to our channel Celebs Flame. First of all we want to thank you for all your great support and enthusiasm in your comments. We really appreciate your feedback and would like to ask you for some more content you'd like to see to make it as much enjoyable as possible. Thank you. And now, in this video today we'll be going through the cast of Back to the Future Then and Now. So let's get started. The classic Back to the Future movie series is one of the most successful film franchises in American cinema history. Originally released in 1985, the movies have become a true part of popular culture and are just as beloved today as they were when they first came out. How exactly did the writer Bob Gale come up with the idea? Gale and his co-writer Robert Zemeckis had wanted to write something about time travel for years. And then Gale stumbled across his father's high school yearbook, and began to wonder what it would be like if he traveled back in time and met him then. And that's how the idea for this iconic story was born. You might be surprised to learn that back in the 80s when it was first being pitched, many film networks and executives were not convinced that this movie was going to be much of a hit. Even with a stellar idea and a well-written script Robert Zemeckis and Bob Gale still had a hard time finding a studio willing to produce Back to the Future. The script was rejected 40 times before the production received the green light. Can you imagine Back to the Future without Michael J. Fox? It's absurd to even try. The problem was, Michael J. Fox was already tied up with his role in the hit sitcom Family Ties. When they realized that Michael J. Fox couldn't play Marty McFly, they signed Golden Globe-nominated actor Eric Stoltz instead. But the trouble was, Stoltz was a super serious guy and very into method acting. Pretty soon, it became clear that Stoltz wasn't working for the role. The film almost happened without Michael J. Fox entirely. However, Michael J. Fox who played Marty McFly was 24 at the time of filming the movie. And now, he is 61 years old. Marty McFly, a typical American teenager of the 80s, is accidentally sent back to 1955 in a plutonium-powered DeLorean time machine invented by a slightly mad scientist. One of the best and most iconic things about Marty McFly is his love and talent for skateboarding and music. And many people think or might assume that Fox would have to have learned skateboarding in order to play the role, but the truth is very different. Because in reality, Fox was already pretty skilled at it, as he had been a keen skateboarder since high school. Michael J. Fox, iconic actor, author and advocate whose Hollywood career has been marked by worldwide acclaim, honor and awards, launched the foundation in 2000 after publicly disclosing his 1991 diagnosis at age 29 with Parkinson's disease. During his career, Fox won five Primetime Emmy Awards, four Golden Globe Awards, two Screen Actors Guild Awards, and a Grammy Award. Fox retired from acting in 2020 due to his declining health. We wish him a fast recovery and hope to see him again in new movies. Christopher Lloyd who played Dr. Emmett Brown was 47 at the time of filming the movie. And now, he is 83 years old. Doc Brown, is amazing professor and mentor to Marty McFly. His witty charm and stereotypical crazy scientist personality just makes him even more of a likable character. He is the inventor of the first time machine built out of a 1981 DeLorean sports car. Christopher Allen Lloyd is a veteran actor, voice actor, and comedian who played the role of Klingon Commander Kruger in Star Trek III. He has appeared in many theater productions and films and also on television since the 1960s. He is known for portraying Amignatowski in the comedy series Taxi, for which he won two Emmy Awards. Lee Thompson who played Lorraine Baines McFly was 24 at the time of filming the movie. And now, she is 60 years old. Lorraine McFly played past, present, and future versions of Marty's mother. Lorraine liked the attention of boys when she was in school, and lots of them were attracted to her, including both George McFly and Biff Tannen. After Back to the Future, Thompson continued her career in Hollywood as well, with more movies, TV roles, and a turn in the director's chair. 
She has had a long successful career, but she's also made time to have a family. While working on some kind of wonderful in which she plays popular girl Amanda Jones, she met future husband Howard Deutsch, who directed the film. Thompson made time for an appearance on the 2014 season of popular reality competition Dancing with the Stars. In 2017, Thompson teamed up with her husband and daughters for her directorial debut The Year of Spectacular Men. Crispin Glover who played George McFly was 21 at the time of filming the movie. And now, he is 57 years old. McFly is the father of Dave, Linda and Marty McFly, and the husband of Lorraine Baines McFly. He was of Irish-American ancestry as his paternal great-grandparents had emigrated from Ireland. He did not come back for the second release. George, the character was in the movie, but the role was given to Jeffrey Weissman since Glover refused to sign on the project. The director, Robert Zemeckis used footage from the first sequel and placed Weissman under prosthetics in the extra scenes. Glover began acting professionally at the age of 13. He appeared in several sitcoms as a teenager, including Happy Days and Family Ties. His first film role was in 1983's My Tutor. He is primarily known as a film actor, but he is also a publisher, filmmaker and author. Thomas Wilson who played Biff Tannen was 26 at the time of filming the movie. And now, he is 63 years old. He is best known for playing Biff Tannen, Griff Tannen, and Buford Mad Dog Tannen in the Back to the Future film trilogy. Tom Wilson is an actor, artist, comedian, and writer who's been working in every aspect of popular culture for decades, creating touchstone roles, provocative paintings, and comic commentary every step of the way. Tom Wilson's stand-up comedy is a unique and hilarious take on life that had brought him to the top of the comedy world. Known the world over for his classic roles in Freaks and Geeks, SpongeBob SquarePants, and many more. Thanks for watching. For more such videos, please subscribe to our channel.